Hey guys, Matt here. Uh, I'm in America now, and uh, I'm at. I, this is like my first 48 hours here, and I have been within this umbrella of China for a year, 18 months, uh, understanding the ideas that that China has implemented to keep Chinese people safe. Um, some of them, the people here in America, think are barbaric and uh, authoritarian and you know they they say China rules by fear and I, I pull these out of my head because I literally just talked to a friend of mine an old friend of mine I stopped by to see this friend of mine I won't out them but they had an interesting they 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 are what what I would have believed what I believed in China what what most Chinese people would believe crazy crazy thoughts i'm not going to get the vaccine uh the you know the 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 covid system it, it's blown way out of proportion it's it's um it's sort of a conspiracy not like not like microchips you know in the vaccines conspiracy but um this vaccine is unproven i'm not going to take it as a matter of fact they gave me a hug oh my god matt what are you doing in town they gave me a hug and when they gave me a hug I'm like this. Everybody, everybody that gives me a hug here, everybody that tries to touch me, I'm backing. Even my stepmom, my sisters, my brother-in-law, their kids. I am, I am very nervous. I'm, I am like really nervous here. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, I, oh. you know, in in China, if there was two cases in a hundred square miles. This whole place would be masked up and locked down. <laughs> totally crazy. But here, it's like, there's this virus. They're just living with the virus. And, and so this episode is going to be about the interaction I had with my friend and how our ideologies are completely different in many ways. We are on opposite sides of a spectrum. But we came together and we talked, and we've always been able to talk, so this was not something new. And um, it, would, it didn't resort to judgmental arguing or anything. It was simply me opening my mind to their perspective and them listening to my perspective. I know I'm, I'm not going to vouch for them that they were opening my, their mind to my perspective, but we were talking. And um, I am just coming from China, so I am like really, I am really programmed with the not even just china it's asia in general they're all taking this way way more seriously than this this country is <laughs> at least from my first 40 hour perspective and i want to share these kind of like perspectives with you because i think they're important especially right off the boat these kind of ideas and, and thoughts and things are fresh in my mind that i'm carrying with me from china and uh and i'm seeing how 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 they're being interpreted here so i met my friend and instantly, um, they were like, um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Matt. Oh, wow. I was so surprised to see you. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got talking. They were like, I was like, this is crazy around here. She gave me a hug, and I was like, and instantly, I said, are you vaccinated? And they said, no. No, I don't believe that. No, I'm not vaccinated. And I says, I'm not vaccinated. She, she, she said, Okay. <laughs> like, inst like, if that interaction were to have happened in China, and there were the number of cases that are that are here in America, it would have been, it would have been not even handshake. It would have been like a fist bump, and then spray the fist bump, and you know, masks to a stranger that you haven't seen in a long time, that are unvaccinated, in an area with a lot of virus going around. Now, you've seen me my, my videos in Amer in China, and there's not a, not a lot of there's not a lot of you know masks and, and interactions there because there's no virus. There's so many controls in place that if there is virus in that area, if there was like four cases in in the area of Ningbo, I wouldn't be meeting friends I haven't seen in a while. And if I was, they certainly wouldn't be giving each other hugs if we were unvaccinated and unmasked. 
and the interaction I had with my my old friend was very interesting so we got to talking they they have been hurt very much by the pandemic in a way that 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 I can't appreciate um, fully and I think that's always important especially people that you disagree with you got to understand where those disagreements come from and why you might be looking at things differently now the, this person owns a business the business has been hurt very much by the unemployment by the um, by the lack of customers uh, you know, there's a number a litany of snowball effects of this pandemic have hit this person very hard and they're not like they're not like superhero business people owning like these like huge conglomerate they're a small business owner in America they're like living the American dream and this a pandemic for them has been a real unfortunate pain in the ass and you know I'm not trying to you know it's been a pain in the ass for a lot of people but for them you know everybody lives their own life right everybody has their own pocket and you got to understand how everybody's thoughts work and so we were talking about the pandemic and then I learned the, how much of, a, of a, an effect it's had on their personal lives and their business and their families and in conjunction because the business is what provides for their families and their idea is that uh, the virus the vaccine here is not FDA approved so they're not going to take anything that's not FDA approved they would take it if it was FDA approved but they're not to the extent that they believe it's like you know uh, got microchips or you know some sort of tracking devices in it they're not thinking that you know they were talking about how their perception of China is that they the Chinese government rules out of fear and that uh, it's an authoritative you know there's you have no freedom whereas I see it as uh, the freedom that you have is based on the freedom of not knowing that the virus is not there and there's no worry but it didn't seem like they were worried as well. They're like, we don't worry. I think everything's being blown out of proportion. But then I said, well, there's 600,000 people that are dead here that aren't equally dead in, in China. And China's three times the population. So you hear that sound? That's the lawnmowers. They're going to come back here and mow the lawn. Mowing lawns, an American thing. Not a lot of people in China have a backyard like this. <laughs> Not a lot at all. But we'll keep talking until they show up and then uh, maybe I'll, I'll stop it and continue later. But I just found this interaction with my old friend very, very interesting and enlightening. This person, this friend, um, is resentful of the way the virus has impacted their business, doesn't want to take the vaccine, um, They've been, you know, hurt by this virus. They believe it's political and it's not as, as, as big a deal as it's been promoted. I don't know how, I was trying to impart on her what the rest of the world feels. I said, I said, you are the exception to the rule. You are a crazy thinker. You're really crazy, according to the rest of the civilized world, not just China. You know, a lot of countries that are taking the virus very seriously, they see you as the reason this thing isn't wrapped up tighter than it is right now. And I'm like, I'm, I'm telling you from a very, you know, friendly perspective, this is a very interesting thing for me to be able to talk to you. And we were having a very, very cordial conversation. I wasn't accusing them. But I was in informing the way that the world perceives this group of Americans, the ones that are resistant to the controls. And they're like, you know, America is so divided. Nobody can agree on anything. The only thing they can basically agree on is nobody can trust the government. And the government's the, 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 in the position that, that they need to be trusted at this point in time. It was very interesting for me to have this conversation with my friend. And I want to have more of these conversations with people who are thinking this way 
so I can develop a mindset and an understanding of where these people come from. I don't want to hate my friend. And I don't want my friend to hate me. I want to understand. Because if we can't understand each other, then we're never going to get through this. We're all humans in this. And so, yeah, I had an interesting interaction. Have you guys had interactions with people um, on, this, on this side without getting angry? Without wanting to tear each other's heads off? Without insulting blatantly? I'm curious. Um, when I informed my friend about how I, I'm actually worried about being here in America because I feel like my ideas are running not only am I on one side of this spectrum which is like you should get your vaccine you should follow the rules the quicker and more diligently we follow the instructions given to us by the people in the know the scientists and the doctors and in turn the politicians who you trust not but the problem is there's nobody you can trust then the sooner we're gonna get out of it on top of that I also think China's being unfairly blamed you know, which my friend was like, well, it's just China's fault. It's China's fault that we're in this. You know, this is where the virus came from, which is agreeable. In, 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 in you know, I'm, I'm on board with that supposition. Um, there's still some questions I have personally about the origin of the virus, and I hope that, hope that we, the world can come together and figure everything out, but probably we'll never know. But... There's a whole lot of a hatred towards China that I think is undeserved, uh, and 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 weird, weird weighing this atrocity versus this atrocity, and the, you know, all sorts of different ways, and leveraging anger towards China to to benefit uh, destabilizing efforts. Like there's so so I have all of these views, and this puts me in a weird category, where there's a group of people that wouldn't like me otherwise. But now with the China thing added in, really don't like me here in America. And I'm curious about proving that out and finding out if that's a real thing or, or maybe I'm, I'm over, overthinking it. Either way, my time here in China, especially in the beginning, <laughs> anyways, my time here in America, especially in the beginning, is about me interacting with people who I only heard about. Because I didn't really talk to my friend when I was in China. It was only when I got here... You know, you have these friends that you see, but you don't like, I don't really talk with a lot of people. I'm pretty pocketed where I, 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 I interact with the community I'm in at the time. I don't even really even talk to my sister and my family here very often. It's not like I'm a bad guy. It's just my, it's just the way I am. I'm, I'm very, you know, I deal with people in my YouTube videos, but beyond that, we all love each other. You know? Okay, I, I think they're gonna come weed whacking here pretty soon. So I'm gonna end this up. But I'm gonna be sharing with you my my mind as it changes and my thoughts as they evolve and I'll share with you interactions with people and how uh, how we end up uh, differing and I'm gonna keep an open mind about it too I'm not going to um, I'm not going I'm gonna keep an open mind we'll talk to you later bye, bye one thing I would like to add is that me and my friend we're on different sides of a spectrum, but we still came together. We respected the fact that we differ in opinion, even though her ideas would actually put her in a lot of problems in the rest of the world. Like, she would be, I don't know, castigated in most parts of the world for her beliefs on on, on the virus and, and, and the pandemic and stuff. I tr I'm, I'm very much trying to keep an open mind and make sure that I don't judge people um, unfairly. And I hope that we could all do that. I, I, I was really happy that I could come together with somebody whose ideas really were so uh, ante ant antithetical to mine that we could still talk it through without, uh, you know, tearing each other's eyes out. And I, I hope we all can do that because we're getting on the other side of this, this whole process. And I hope that, you know, the sooner we can come together and understand each other, the better. the smell of cut grass. That is America right there. That's not China. <laughs> I can count on my hand the amount of good freshly cut lawns outside of a golf course <laughs> like that. <laughs>